Well, today it's all about Pappy and Harriet's. That's right, back, going back to Pioneer Town, take two. I love going up there, as I mentioned in my previous video of Pioneer Town. A step back in time, which I will leave a link in the description. So you can go check that out. Uh, anyways, as I mentioned in that one, I really like coming up here to Yucca, Yucca Valley, California. Uh, it's just, uh, I really enjoy the riding. It's, a, it's a really low stress motorcycle riding and uh, the roads are well kept and, and just good. So this, like I said, this is part two. We're heading back up to Pioneer Town and this time it's all about Pappy and Harriet's. It's not going to be near as long a video as the first one. So I'll show you a little bit of the inside but my problem with Pappy and Harriet's is the music that's playing uh, constantly. Uh, I'll have a problem with YouTube because of the copyright restrictions so you're going to hear a lot of voiceovers during this during this video especially when i'm inside but so hang in there and join me for a trip up to pioneer town and a visit with happy and harriet's restaurant and little house bar i think you'll enjoy it especially if you're in the western city In case you're wondering how I get this shot, I've got the GoPro mounted to the crash bar uh, where I'm this uh, I really like this angle, and especially when you see the road that's coming up where I start going up an incline. So it's a pretty cool sensation. That's why I, I use this mount. A buddy of mine, Arthur, who I'll talk about later on, he mentioned that he gets a kick out of it because it gives him the feeling that he's in a sidecar. So I, that's a pretty cool idea. It, it does give you that sensation. But yeah, here's the here's the part I really like. Going up this road here. You'll notice in this video that I am using a lot more motorcycle footage for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't been including enough footage of what I've been feeling. Um, so I'm decided to add more to this. And two, once we get to Pappy and Harry's, the video is not going to be that long because, again, I can't really film a lot inside without the you know, music that they're playing interfering with what I'm doing, my ability to publish this video. So that's why we're uh, you're going to have a lot more talking during this. And you'll see we just switched video positions to the helmet cam. <laughs> so we went from the wheel cam to the helmet cam. Alright, here we go. Well, I tried, but no amount of editing in the world could get rid of the music in the background. So I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, tell you a little bit about Pat and Harriet's. So I'll put my own music in there. It's not a problem. Copyright issues. I'll put that in later. Pappy's is known for its cold drinks, good barbecue, and live music. And one of the
one of the most famous musicians that ever came through there was back in October 13, 2016, and it was Paul McCartney. It was uh, supposed to be a surprise and intended for locals only, uh, but he was in the Coachella Valley for a uh, music festival for that time period. He wanted to get to a, a little roadhouse, a, little, a small show, so he was handlers figured it out and Pappy and Harriet's came up number one on that list and they made it happen so it was a it was a pretty cool event and I wish I could have been there to see it but uh, a little bit before my time before we moved out here but there's some stuff on the walls and pictures on the walls and, and uh, there's some history there's, there's an article in the LA Times and uh, the Desert Sun where I'm getting this information from but it was it was a pretty big event 300 seat venue and it was, it was standing room only. You know one of the things I like to do is take requests from subscribers as far as places to visit or restaurants to eat at. And this Pappy's came recommended by a buddy of mine, Augie. Uh, he had heard about other folks coming here and uh, he said I should get on up here. So I did and you'll see me here I'm, I'm slicing into this pulled pork sandwich and that was at the request of another buddy of mine I mentioned earlier uh, Arthur. Arthur suggested that I, you know, take the time, cut these things open, show what the inside looks like. I could have done a better job, but you know, it is what it is, folks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I do listen to the, my subscribers, and I do, do try to uh, take take their suge their suggestions to heart. I did enjoy this pulled pork sandwich and the, and the mac and cheese. Uh, I like the sauce especially. You know. Could it have been bigger? Yes. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big boy. But no, I thought it was delicious. It was fairly priced. My wife had the uh, fried catfish, I, I believe. It was fried fish sandwich. She didn't have as good a luck as I did. She, she told me it was a little overcooked. So she she didn't finish it. But I sure did because, you know, we don't we don't waste food in my house. But And I enjoyed it. So, you know, it was just what you're into for the day. But... I had my pulled pork sandwich and, and I finished off her fish sandwich. I enjoyed them both. But here's her fish sandwich. She had some of it. And in Pappy's defense, when we let the waitress know that my wife wasn't happy with the sandwich, she offered to replace the sandwich immediately. But by that time, my wife was pretty much done. And I just said, oh, I'll take care of that. Don't you worry. I was I was thrilled with the place. I, I love the... Uh, the the ambiance, the music was great. Even my wife really enjoyed the music as well. The, the, you just saw in the background there that was our waitress. I forget her name, but she was very attentive. And this picture of me pretty much sums it up. I was happy with Pappy's. And this picture was of Grace, who was visiting Pioneer Town from Whittier, I believe. She saw my wife taking that picture and decided to join the show. She was good with being on YouTube, and I think she's going to be a new subscriber of mine. We'll see. Well, that's it. I'm heading on back towards the 62. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you today. I really hope you would subscribe and like the video. And leave me a comment. Let me know you stopped by. Let me know your name. Uh, and as always, especially when you're out here riding on these motorcycles, be careful and be kind.